Hi everyone, today I'm going to go through a simplified module for financial institutions in order to calculate their portfolio coverage at a specific point in time. Please note, however, that this is a simple approach and is currently only supported by using the weighted average temperature score method. If you are interested in using the portfolio coverage approach with other aggregation methods, I encourage you to go through our other resources on our financial institutions tool page, the other CoLab modules, and calculate the, the portfolio coverage using a different aggregation method if that is what you are interested in. So I'm going to show you how to access the modules now. On our financial institutions page, we have a getting started using Python. From the getting started using Python link, you can access our Google CoLab modules. As you can see, these were the original five that we have included. And then there is a simplified portfolio coverage module that is available to calculate your portfolio coverage using the weighted average temperature score. So this is a Google CoLab module that you can use um, if you are using, if you would like to calculate the portfolio coverage at a specific point in time. We run the first command here, as well as creating a dummy data for the collab to run, but here you could load your own portfolio. So before I show you how to load a portfolio, let me show you about the portfolio information that we require for you to be able to run the template. So we have this portfolio template and we need to have the column names as is in the portfolio template. You can find this portfolio template on our FI tool webpage, but here it is for your knowledge. You can upload it as a CSV or an Excel file. I am showing this on an Excel file for your visibility for the purpose of this recording. So firstly, you require the name of your company under the heading company name. Then it's the company ID. You need to fill this in as a unique identifier for the company companies in your portfolio. The user can choose how to calculate their company ID. Then the ISIN and the LEI, which are quite important to fill in. Finally, your investment value or your lending value of the portfolio for calculating the weighting of your coverage. And finally, we also require this engagement target in your column. It's not needed for you to um, run this particular collab, but it has to be included because of the temperature rating tool. You can technically leave this blank. So as long as you have the heading available, you can run the tool, as well as company ISIN and company LEI. If you do not have that information in your portfolio, you could technically leave it blank and the tool will still run. But please try and pull as much of this information in so that the SPTI status can be included in the output. So going back to the Google CoLab module, now you know how to fill in your portfolio data file. Now going on to the uh, Google CoLab module, as you can see, I've already run the first two commands. What I can do is upload my data here on the left of my module. So I'm just opening the path here and uploading my two files. So I want to upload an Excel file. And technically, I have a portfolio file in the CSV format. So the functions have already been filled out for you. Please note the hashtag is to not run the line that you do not want to run. So for example, I have a portfolio file that I would like to upload. I could copy the name of this file and then I would replace it here. but then I need to run this tab. So I would remove the hashtag here and place it on the CSV file. And that way I know my portfolio has been uploaded. However, actually that was the portfolio template I had previously showed you. I want to run my CSV file. So I know the portfolio name It's under the data tab here. And so I can run it like that. So, here we're just checking for duplicates of the company ID in my portfolio file. And now we go on to the actual date of the base year that we want to 
So for example, when we make a submission, we have a base year, and now we want to calculate the coverage at a specific base year. So I am going to choose 2021, 31st of December as my base year. And then this particular function about loading the CTA file is just to show, is just to connect us to the company's taking action page on the SPTI website, which you can find here. And we're just running this to include it. And then this will um, just show us top few rows from the file. So now I'm just going to filter the target data and then filter out the dates. And then just running a few more files. And here we can see that our portfolio coverage is 23%. Now we have to calculate our target to submit to the SBTI as part of your financial institution's portfolio coverage target. So my base year is 2021 and my portfolio coverage right now is 23%. So I'm gonna include that base year 2021 and then base year portfolio coverage as 23%. So, so now onto the calculation part. As per our FI criteria, we want 100% coverage by the year 2040. So first we calculate the difference between our base year of 23% and then 100% by 2040. So we need to have at least 77% covered to reach 100% by 2040. And so from our base year, which is 2021, we look at the 77% and we divide it per year in order to reach 100% by 2040. So we take those seventy-seven percent, and we look at what we need to take, or what we need to achieve, to get one hundred percent by twenty forty. And then we calculate the target year. So I have submitted now in twenty in twenty twenty three, and my base year is twenty twenty one. So as an engagement target, the target year has to be within five years from the date of submission. If you have submitted in the first half of 2023, uh, then the maximum target year can be 2027. But if you've submitted in the second half of 2023, then your target year can be, your maximum target year can be 2028. So I have a, I've submitted a 2020, a, in 2023 and my target year is 2027. And so I need to calculate my, ambition needs to be between 2021 to 2027. So that's how much I need to increase my portfolio. But then don't forget that you already had a 23% coverage in your base year. So we would like to have at least a minimum ambition, a minimum ambition of portfolio coverage of 47.3% by 2027. And because my base year is from 2021, I can already look up my 2022 target if I were to change the date on this Excel, on this collab. So for my knowledge and for my submission, I could already update this file. Just if I rerun the target so that the dates are filtered up properly. And then as you can see, you've already increased your portfolio in your second year, which was 2022, from 23% to 30%. So you can also um, take this into account for you to for your own knowledge on to assessing on how far your institution has come with their portfolio coverage targets. So I hope this video has been informative on an automated way to calculate the weighted average portfolio coverage um, based either on invested value or on your lending value, depending on what you're using your file for. If you are interested in our temperature rating tool, I would advise you to go through the other Google Colab modules um, that we have available on our website. And if you run through them, you can find more information about our temperature rating tool. Uh, for further updates or future updates, um, please subscribe to the SPTI Financial Institutions newsletter. And then if you would like to contact us, there's also the SPTI Finance Community Forum um, where you can see updates, uh, especially relating to the temperature rating tool. And then you also have the opportunity to ask further questions. Thank you.